Hey everyone, so I've had a couple requests to show a tutorial on how to flash uh, the Ghost RX receiver. I made two videos for the uh, Fold transmitter and the Light transmitter for Ghost. So here I'll show you how to flash this, but this method works for jumper as long as you have the pinout. It doesn't matter about frequency, 2.4, 900, R9, uh, you could flash these. It's the same, basic same process. You have the, um, you have an IO, you'll have a ground, you'll have clock and 3.3 .3 volts. Uh, I like to power these right off this guy. So you just plug it in, it powers it. I like to pull it out of the quad, make sure you don't mess with it too much inside the quad because um, you have to get to these small little pins and it's even worse for this jumper. Gosh, I, if you want to flash this jumper 900, it's cheaper, but it's not worth it in my opinion. I'd rather pay 10 more dollars to get a larger pad but that being said i'm not you know everyone's on a budget so it's a pretty it's a i recommend it if you're using 900 but if you do use 900 um make sure you switch the antenna the jumper 900s antennas are terrible but getting back to ghost so this method also works for um any basically any receiver that you have to flash your st link hopefully uh, you'll see more receivers with firmware built in but yeah, let's get started. So if you flip this guy over, I have a few of these guys hanging around. Um, you'll notice, you'll notice that um, you have a you have these pins right here. It's not as they're not as big as the regular pins of flash, but I think they're not bad. To I mean, if you've soldered onto a small twenty by twenty or a sixteen by sixteen board, or had to do any work on a little tiny whoop, um, this is super easy. But uh, you'll have the top, which is your clock, your I.O., your data. Then you'll have your ground and your 3.3. .3. Now, if you're powering this through a flight controller or like I'm doing it here with this uh, power board, going to this uh, duo, which hopefully we'll have support for soon, um, make sure you don't power it through the 3.3 .3 as well. Only one. So either do it to 3.3 .3 or do it to 5 volts. Don't do both. I prefer this. Keeps it nice and clean. You just... Use this, and you match the top pin here, and I'll, I'll put a, a picture on here, top pin, and then you'll have the um, clock right here, 5. Then the second pin on here would go to IO, which is 2. Then the third pin down here will go to ground, which is 4. And then the fourth pin will go to the 3.3, .3, which on my ST link, which I'll have a link in the description, you can buy it on Amazon, that is 8. So yeah, let's... I think my solder nine is nice and warmed up. I like to use, um, this is what I like to use, um, flux pen. This is no clean. A lot of people like to clean it anyway because it's sticky, but I am a lazy person and I do not clean any of it and I've never damaged anything. So, um, yeah, that being said, um, yeah, so what I do is I get these nice and turned up. And I am not the best at soldering. Um, that's why I use my software skills to work on that TX target because I am not a solder. So what I what I do is I, I take um let's see we got a you're, you're gonna need four if you're gonna power it. If you're not gonna power it, if you're gonna power it through the quads F uh, flight controller, keep the power and ground on the flight controller, and all you need is these three for ground. Um, then you can use this for you know the data and clock or whatever you want to use. Um, actually, you need to make sure you keep this in mind. If you're using the server one, um, your middle red's going to be ground. And then you can just flip flop the IO or clock, whichever way you want to plug it in to here. Um, so, yeah, we'll do red, ground. And I use, I can add this um, solder into a link too. I really like the solder. Makes it super easy. I get these turned up. And then. We'll do ground first, which is that third pin. And the flux really helps just pull it. Um, and again, it doesn't really matter the order for the servo connector, because we can flip it around. And even if you put in the, the clock and data backwards, it's kind of like um, telemetry. You won't break anything. Uh, you just flip the RX and TX on, on serial, and you won't break anything, and, okay. Gosh, I hate soldering, okay.
Good thing there's not a lot of soldering involved in making quads, right? Okay, so let's do the same here. Now the rule of thumb is you're not supposed to put solder in the tip and put that on the board, but again, I suck at soldering and I don't listen to people. So I put solder in here, usually on the wire, get a nice solder, and you know, if you used flux, it kind of just pulls it. Maybe. That is good enough for me. Okay. So yeah, here, you'll focus this guy. Yep. So my, if you use a, a regular servo connector, you're gonna have that red in the middle. That's gotta be your um, ground. So like I told you before in the beginning, we got the top, brown is clock, data is the yellow, the red servo wire is gonna be the ground, and then you have this guy. Now make sure you don't mix match uh, polarities here. So let's make sure we know this one is the, come on, focus. This is uh, quality recording here. And this bottom one's gonna be positive. So we're just gonna set that up. And the clock is here. Yeah, should be good to go. Let's plug it in the computer. So now it's time to remove the protection on the Ghost. Download STM32 ST-Link Utility. Look in the description for a link. Um, with this program, we're going to um, select Target and go to Option Bytes. And then we're going to remove the read protection. You should see level 1. If you have never flashed, we need to switch this to level um, 0 for the readout protection. And then we need to, uh, you'll see some of these selected already. Let's unselect all. And um, now be careful. Once we do this, there is no going back to Ghost. This will corrupt the firmware and you're stuck with um, having to flash ELRS. Um, click apply and we're good to go. Okay, so it's now time to flash it with Express LRS configurator. We're going to use uh, 0.47, uh, there's probably a new version. Look in the link, um, the description for a link, but we'll go to the Git branch and we can go to the develop branch. You just type develop and you can select that branch. For target, we're going to just type ghost and we're going to use the ST link for the first time. For the second time, we can use the beta flight pass through and you just uh, plug your quad into the computer the same way you would use beta flight except don't connect on beta flight and you'll just um you'll just select the beta flight pass through and it'll use serial to update it but uh yeah so i'm going to put my binding phrase you can leave this one blank if you want to use um there's a little tip that kind of explains what you can use and what you can't um i like binding phrases because everything's is um, ready to go you don't have to worry about any binding sequence or anything like that um there's only one option 2.4 I like to do lock on first connection. Lock on first connection means it's not going to search when you lose um, connection. It's automatically going to use the same uh, uh, ray packet, so it's quicker to reconnect. Also, I'm going to use 500 hertz and hybrid switches. I'm not going to use telemetry, but that does work. It still has limited telemetry, so enabled telemetry is a little... It's, now, there's still limited telemetry without actually having the full telemetry, but I run no telemetry. So, we're going to build flash. Should be pretty fast. Um, you'll notice, look at uh, the RX, you'll see it, it's blinking normally right now. And then once it starts flashing, you'll see the ST link start blinking and... Let's see how long this takes. Now, it might take a little longer than what you see on the screen if this is your first time flashing. It has to download all the uh, platform I.O. libraries, all the Arduino libraries, so this might be a longer process than what you see on the screen. That's okay. And now we are flashing, and you see the light went solid and it's going to reboot so that first color led light 
is your bootloader, and then it should cycle through a, a various colors. That means it's working. Now you should connect to your radio and make sure it all works. And then when you plug this into your drone, and when you uh, get it all connected, go back to develop, go to your target, goes and this this is the same for any uh, receiver so if you buy some do-it-yourself receivers for the same um, setup uh, a lot of those actually have UARTs but uh, almost everything has a beta flight pass through using our bootloader so we're going to use ghost we'll do the beta flight pass pass through and just plug in your drone to the USB uh, and it should be good to go and make sure it's all connected on beta flight properly on a uh, uh, with RX and TX. But yeah, happy fun.